you can have things where there's a right and a wrong answer. Um, and you, but you will find that one of the things we have to most do with our students is teach them to tolerate the uncertainty of, of not knowing what the answer might be. After all, by definition, all lawyers are 50% wrong because you know only one person can win. Um, so our students have to learn to tolerate the possibility that um, that there won't be a right or wrong answer. There will just be a, a right-er answer or a wrong-er answer or another way of putting it is a more persuasive answer or a less persuasive answer. And so when you're giving feedback to students where there's a right answer it's relatively easy. You know you say yes that was right or no it wasn't and you can use systems like multiple choice questions um, um, and answers and, and direct questions and so on. Um, and then feedback about about correctness and so on. When you're saying to somebody, look, you really got this wrong, this was something which required you to use a formula and you used the wrong formula, that's wrong. You have to say that because you're not doing anybody a favour by saying you did that you were right when you were wrong. But I think for the purposes of um, law that a better way to think of feedback is to think of it mostly in, in terms of the kinds of things where there's no certain answer. Um, and, and I guess my, my basic view is that feedback, we do feedback for a reason. We're doing feedback in order to assist students to develop their learning. And what we're trying to do is, is getting them to develop um, a sense of, of asking questions about whatever material comes to them and keeping asking questions and feeling that it's that they can be independent enough to ask those questions and then try and approach some answers. And so actually what's really essential in our feedback systems is that the feedback needs to incorporate something or other that will make them keep keep hunting. So that the next time they come to do something, the previous feedback hasn't shut them down. The fact that an area is grey doesn't mean that you can say anything within that area. Some things will be more persuasive and other things will be less persuasive. So your feedback needs to, needs to articulate those things.